guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be talking about this wig that is from not RPG show my first wig which is the sister company of RPG show and I just wanted to like give you like a really quick review like real fast I was gonna do a video on how to shape and mold this wig but every time I put it on I'm like I don't need to shape and mold it like it doesn't need any shape and molding this is the Mion wig from my first wig and uh, I'll put the link in the description box so you guys can find it, of course. I wanted a Rihanna inspired because that's the wig that I've been seeing like her wearing a lot and I've just always been really inspired by her hairstyles and I really wanted something that looked like that and then when I saw Ivy um, do a video on this hairstyle, I was like, yes ma'am, gotta get it. So I got it and then once I got it, it was like the day before I went to Texas. I went to Texas for BeautyCon last week, if you guys didn't know. And the whole week I was gonna wear my real hair and I ended up getting frustrated with my real hair and I was like, okay, fine, I'm just gonna wear a wig. I literally took this wig out of the box. I cut off the lace, I put it on my head, I flat ironed it, and this is what it looked like. I pro I kid you not, I literally, you can ask my mom because I did this in my mom's bathroom, okay? She was like, girl, you don't know what you're doing. And I'm like, mom, watch this. I put it on and she was like, that looks amazing. And I was like, oh my God, this wig is a freaking amazing. Like, I don't know what it is be about my first wig and my and, and RPG show, but I wanna say that my first wig wigs are better than RPG show wigs. I do not know why. But this one and the Victoria Bob that I've shown you guys are both like they're amazing. The quality is amazing. The fact that they just go on so easy and they look so good. Like I didn't have to do anything to the part. I didn't pluck it. I didn't have to do anything to it. I put a little bit of foundation on the part just to make it match a little bit better. But that was only because I had on a really bright wig cap underneath. So it, it didn't really match like the front of my head. So I had to put um, some, some foundation on there. But I didn't put anything on there today. And I'm pretty sure everything that I put on it before has worn off. This is a week after I took it out of the box and haven't washed it yet, and it still looks freaking bomb. I do not lie, okay? When I tell you guys I like something, I like something. I would buy this for a friend. I might buy you one. You know what? I might be nice to me because I might buy one of y'all. What I really love about this wig is that it's so easy to put on. Like, I literally just put it on my head and it looks amazing. It just looks like this. Um, you didn't have to, I didn't have to pluck anything. I didn't have to pull anything out. I didn't have to adjust it. I didn't have to cut this hair. I didn't have to like do too much straightening to it. I did run my flat iron through it. I will give it that. I did run my flat iron through it, but that was only because once it's been put in the box, it does get a little bit bumpy. So you do have to like flat iron it. But that's it. I didn't do anything else. I didn't have to lay, like I didn't have to like, you know, wash it and then mold it on the head, on the wig head and all that stuff. Wait for it to dry. I didn't have to do any of that. It just, it just looks good. I wore it to BeautyCon. I got so many, so many compliments on this hair. Um, I actually saw Tierra Monet. If you guys don't follow Tierra Monet, you need to. Um, let me just say, I love Tierra Monet. She saw me and she said, oh my God, I've seen you. I've watched you before. And I was like, <laughs> Tierra, no. I really love Tierra. And she told me she loved this wig. I just feel like it is a really good wig. This is definitely one of my staple wigs now. I have all the information about it in the description box so you guys can check that out, uh, any specifics that you may need. Um, but other than that, I don't have much to say. I'm thinking about curling it, so if I do curl it, I will do a tutorial on that. I'll talk to you guys later. I love you. See you soon. Bye.